we are going to design a car. To do that we need to start by clicking on File in the main menu at the top of the screen, New and Designs. We can create a 3D model of our car. The design window opens. I maximise that to give me as much working space as possible. The rectangle in 3D on the on the screen is, uh, is a work plane. We actually need to draw the side of our car so we need to work in a different work plane to that. So I go up to the Select Work Planes button. I click on that and then I can pick the work plane that I want. I can use the frontal work plane. I click on that and then I need to create a sketch. All the drawings we create in Pro Desktop are based on sketches. So I need to say I'm going to use a sketch. To do that I select the work plane, right click, click on New Sketch. I can give that a name. You can see in the New Sketch window gives me the opportunity to enter a name. It's already highlighted Sketch 1 so if I type in something it will replace it. So if I put Side of Car and then it will be created, added to the frontal work plane, I just click OK and we're ready to start. So the final thing I need to do is make sure I'm looking straight at the work plane. I do this by clicking on the viewing direction option arrow at the bottom of the screen in the bottom toolbar. This enables me to have different sorts of views. You can see them being shown as I hover over them and this one gives me a view onto the work plane. It shows the plan work plane, so if you're looking at it from the top, but it does give you the view onto all of the work planes and you can also do shift, hold down shift and tap W. I'm going to start by drawing the bottom of the profile of my car. To do this I'm going to use a straight line from the right toolbar or design toolbar I want the bottom of the car to be horizontal. To do this I could move it until it seems right or a better way is just to press the up arrow or shift key on your keyboard and then it will be either horizontal as it is now or vertical. I'm holding down the left hand mouse button whilst I'm doing this. I keep pressing the shift key and then I release the left hand mouse button I've got my line. This line could be moved, so to keep it in place I click on the, while it's selected and it's highlighted, I click on the uh, G-Cramp uh, icon in the top toolbar and that will lock it in place. And the little triangle on there shows me that it is locked in place. I check that I have got the straight line toolbar still selected, so I move along with the cursor along my baseline you can see a little black square. When I get to the end that becomes a bigger square that shows me that I've selected the end of that line. I left click, hold down the left hand mouse button, move to where I want the first line to go. If I keep it still I will automatically have the end of that line. Move along again so by just releasing the mouse button without moving the mouse, I am then ready to start the new line. Move down and you notice again I've got the end of the baseline with a big square, big black square, and I can release the line accordingly. That now fills in the shape and I know that I have got what is called a true profile. In other words, all the lines join up end to end. And they don't overlap. And there are no gaps. Once I've done that, I can then create what is called an extrusion that will give us a 3D solid car. The extrusion icon is on the bottom toolbar. See the cursor is just moving down to that now. It says extrude profile. When I hover over that, I left click on that. That gives me the extrude profile dialog box or window. What I now want to do is look at this in 3D. So I go down to the Viewing Direction Choice 
icon at the bottom of the screen and I pick the one which says Trimetric. I've then got a little yellow grab handle in my profile, which is highlighted. As I go onto that it changes to light blue or cyan. I can then use that to stretch my car until I like how wide it looks. It could be very narrow, it could be very wide. The choice is yours. Get it to how I like it, release the left hand mouse button and then click OK. To get that fitting the screen as big as possible I can do auto scale. So I do view, click on view, auto scale and I can also hold down shift and tap A to do the same thing. I have now created the basic shape for my car and I'm going to save that. To save it I go to file, save, I'm going to save mine in Camtasia Studio, Pro Desktop and I'm going to call this one Basic Car Shape 3. I wanted to, I could use an existing name and replace it. When I'm happy with the name, I just click on Save. We have now created the basic shape and saved it. I suggest you start trying to create your own. Don't forget that you can always pause the video as you're watching it with the pause button at the bottom of the screen and by looking at the timeline, there's a little circle on that, you can get hold of that and drag that back go back to parts that you want to see. This video is now complete.